Free Tech and today we're going to cover the ARM SID for the Commodore 64. And we're going to compare it against an original Commodore 64 with the original SID chip in it against what would be a direct replacement for this. Okay, so we're going to take a look and see what it sounds like, see if it's worth having a replacement for the SID chip. Now the um, SID chip in the Commodore 64 is failing and it's failing very very quickly. I think I've got about four or five of these failed SID chips kicking around in my spares kit. So basically what happens is when they go you get no sound whatsoever. Although the computer would function quite well just like it does here and just like it does here where you get no sound. There are a few options out there like the Swin SID and now the ARM SID. Now the difference is, is the ARM SID is basically based on an ARM processor but um, which is better? Which is the one you would go for? Or would it be a case of trying to find an old SID chip to put back in your machine to make it original and compatible again. Remember there was two versions of the SID chip as well. The original, which was in the original Breadbin Commodore 64, and then there's the second generation which was generally in the 64C but it was in the 64G as well and there's still a raging debate on which one sounds the best and a lot of that subjective so we're going to take a quick look at the arm SID and we're going to compare it against the Swin SID and the Swin SID Nano to find out if it really is a good replacement for one of these or should you just get an old original SID chip and then hope it never goes bad again so let's take a look now a first way of testing this is to use something I'm quite familiar with and one of my favourite games with my favourite tunes on the Commodore 64 and that's the ubiquitous Monty on the run and the reason for that is because I know this quite well with the 64 and the 64C with its two different variants of the SID chip and I'm also going to look at it from a different perspective using different musical scores from different games and software so we're going to see how this chip performs. First up, the arm SIG. Now, the original Commodore. And what you notice here is that um, the sound is very, very close. This is the arm SID is very close, but there's not quite the base here of the original SID chip. And as you can hear now, the, the base is a little bit more gritty here. And also, you'll hear a very slightly different tone when the main kind of rift kicks in compared to the arm seed. So now we'll listen to the arm seed just for a, about a minute to see how it sounds. And this is the original Commodore, but um, it's 
grittier, it dirtier, the bass line's dirtier. I think I actually on this prefer the arm, the arm sid. But generally it's very close, but I think I prefer the arm sid way it presents its notes. Back to the arm sid with the faster part of the tune. It's very clean. All the notes are very clean. And back to the Sid, and it's um, dirtier again. And there seems to be a lot of clipping on the notes. And clipping around here as well. I think I actually prefer the arm Sid really on this kind of music. Okay, so we're now we're going to take a look at a slightly different song and to see if basically it carries over from the, what I think of um, the way it handled Monty on the Run in its tune. And so far I'm quite impressed with it. It's um, very clean, the sounds are very nice, it's slightly quieter than the original Sid Chip, but overall Unless you've got a side-by-side -side comparison, you wouldn't really know the difference. But I'm sure that there's going to be other opinions. There's a lot of people like the grittier kind of sound of the original Sid compared to the 64C and the 64G's version. Um, but I quite like the clean kind of sound that the arm Sid produces. Now, it would be nice to see that using uh, a messiah and to find out how it reacts using it as a synthesizer but you know that's probably something for another day but we're going to have a quick look at um, how it reacts to a different kind of song. Okay this is the original Sid Chip playing Swallow Wonderland And now the arm, which has a lot of carrier noise, which is quite unusual, so it doesn't work for everything. Okay, so you can see from that, it doesn't quite work with everything. It's close, it's very close, but it's picking up the carrier so you can hear kind of instead of a, a carrier tone which is quite long in the original version, it's more of a sharp tone rather than a long carrier which you know I'm guessing they were using the carrier to form part of the tune as well. So um, yeah it's very clean and I think that's what its downfall is with this piece of music but overall I think the arm Sid is brilliant you wouldn't know any difference I mean if I hadn't heard this last song back to back I probably wouldn't have realized that there was meant to be a continuous tone rather than a beep beep broken carrier tone and again that's a good thing because um, there's not very many people going to be doing back-to-back -back comparisons with this chip. Now having used the Nano and its derivatives, um, this is a much 
better solution for a Commodore 64 Plus. It keeps kind of the essence of the sounds and the tones alive within the machine. So basically, if you do have a broken SID chip in any of the Commodores, because it does both versions, it will auto detect which version of the chip is required for each system, which is a good thing. Um, it keeps the machines practically identical to the originals, which is a great, great thing. The only downside I can say is if you really were kind of a Commodore SID chip audiophile, you will notice the difference. But then again, I've had the same make and model of SID chip six or eight months production apart and they've sounded very different so you know the the fact that um, people prefer one chip over another you will actually find that the types of SID chip that are out there you can get identical versions in identical machines and they sound slightly different and in some cases very different so I w really wouldn't be too concerned about the minor differences on the ARM SID compared to the original SID chip or even the version they used in the G or the C models. So overall it works really well. So I hope you enjoyed this look into the ARM SID and how I found it and what I thought of the chip in general. So I hope you'll subscribe and I hope to see you soon. So thank you. Thanks for watching.